What's this guy to get better at Nautilus? This guy is main collaboration with Sir Nuxilla, who's a high challenger player, currently ranked 36 on the ladder with 900 plus points. He's known for previously being ranked 1, and he's also currently playing on Schalke Academy. Now let's get into the runes. On Nautilus you take Resolve as your main spec, you go Aftershock, Shield Bass, Bone Plating, and Unflinching. In your second tree you go Inspiration, the Hestech Flash Traption, and Biscuit Delivery. Against melee matchups, you can swap Biscuit Delivery for Dematerializer instead to have more pressure and push faster, as you won't be getting poked as much. For the three small runes, you'll be running Attack Speed in the first one, Armor in the second one, and the third one you're going to run Armor or Magic Resist depending on your lane matchup and who you're against. If you're against AP, you won't have Magic Resist, and if you're against mainly physical damage, you'll be running Armor. Now, let's get into the items. You'll be starting with Relic Shield, two potions, and the War Trinket. Afterwards, you want to consider picking up a refillable potions, you want to get boots, and also you always want to kind of have some pink wards because you're support and you need to pink ward for your team to have vision. Your goal at this point is to start getting your mobility boots as fast as possible so you can roam around the map and create pressure. Once you get your mobility boots, you also want to look into getting a sweeper trinket so you can clean vision from the enemy team and with that clean important wards to try and help your team set up gangs that can result in big plays and kills. After these items, the next one to go for is Gargoyles. That's the number one item on Nautilus right now due to the fact that you're a melee tank and you just want to be as tank as possible and it gives you every single stat you want as a Nautilus player. Now we get to the interesting part. Now you start having a lot of options. So for the next item, you want to have either Seeks, Locker, or Knight's Vow. Now the item you're buying depends on your team and the enemy team. If your team have a hybrid carrier that tends to buy Infinity Edge, you mostly want to buy Seeks. Now, if the enemy team have a shit ton of AoE damage and you just need some magic resist, you're going to go for Locker of the Iron Solari. Now, if you don't need any of the above items, then you're just going to go for Knight's Vow as the third option. Now, let's talk about Nautilus' abilities. His pass is one of his core abilities. It does a tiny bit of extra damage, and then it also stuns the enemy champion when you're hitting them with an auto attack. It's a great ability to try and combo with his other abilities. Now, his Q is a huge angle that you're throwing out the enemies. When you hit the enemies, it drags them slightly towards you and you're flying towards them. It takes about one second to land on them. It can also be used on terrain and you can use it to hit minions if you want to get close to the enemies without being able to hit them. Nautilus W is a shield that he activates on himself for 6 seconds. The shield is based around your max health, so the more health you have, the stronger it's going to be. And also, it applies a buff to your auto attack, so when you auto attack people, you use your bonus magic damage over 2 seconds to the target and enemies around them. Nautilus E ability to Riptide creates free waves of explosions that radiate from him. All of them deal magical damage and then it also slows them for one and a half second that decays over time. This ability is amazing to slow down the enemy champions to try and have an easier time hitting your skill shots or letting your teammates have an easier time hitting your skill shots or just damaging them down. Now last we have Nautilus' ultimate. It's a point and click stun that basically charges up over time, it flies through the map from your position to his, and everyone in between is also getting knocked up and stunned. People get stunned from 1 to 2 seconds upon arrival depending on the level of the ability. Alright, let's get into Nautilus' skill order. So from level 1 to 3 you want to go Q, then W, and last E. And you also want to have the same skill order for how you max it. So you max Q first, then you max W, and last you max E. Hey, it's Sir Nukes a lot. I will tell you about the most basic combos for Nautilus. So, Nautilus is a hook champion, and you need to hit your hooks, otherwise you're just not gonna be good on this champion. So, Nautilus has three spells, his passive, his hook, and his ulti. And you can start a fight with any one of those, but just make sure you don't stack them on one target, because your main job is to be a tank and CC the enemy. So, the first one is just, you auto attack them, to slow them, and after you can hook them. Second one, you just land the hook on them, you auto, and then you ulti. But if enemy has Ezreal or someone who can jump away, it's better to just hook into ulti and then auto attack. And uh, you can also just start the fight with your ulti and then hook after. And what is really powerful on Nautilus, if enemy is no flash and they gonna jump away, just go for flash hook and they are dead. But if they do have jump, you can always just flash ulti, hook after and chase them after. Or try to stop flash. And one combo that I do not recommend using because it stacks the CC a bit, but sometimes it can be really useful, is you ulti and hook after. Also, be careful with your hook, because 
if you hit the wall, you might just get one shot because you don't proc your after shot. And also, like the hook is just really broken because if someone is really far, you just hook the wall and then you can ulti them after. And auto attack, chase them, and then your hook will be back up and you can kill them. Nautilus is really good versus squishy supports if you can get the push. Because if you get the push, you can land the hook and it's really good to hide in the bushes for hooks. They either have to ward the bush or they have to play back. Here they already warded, so I'm just waiting to push in the wave and get the level 2 power spike. Also Nott is really good at diving, because he has his W, he's so tanky, and he has a lot of CC for that. So here I just see Olaf stepping into the river, and I know that he's no flash from the top to invade, so here I just flash hook and get a free kill for my team. So because of this lane matchup, we are permanently pushing them in, Chunking the tower, getting free Drake, getting free vision. Here we are fighting, I just tried to kill for my MF. So this position is really good for us. Because if they are low, we can just one shot them. But if we are low, they can't really one shot us. Now I'm out of mana, so all I can do is auto attack or snare. Here I'm just waiting mana for my hook. And waiting for Seeks to move bot. Here he can still one shot me, so I stay back a bit. Okay, we get a free kill, and now I almost have mana for hook. And now I have mana, and we get another free kill. And now we're really ahead in this game. Here we see that the enemy is really overextended bot. So I just do my full combo on Janna, and we one shot her after. Now I'm just waiting for my cooldowns. Try to go for Olaf, but my MF doesn't follow. Okay, and now we chunk all up really low. And here, we don't need to go, but my set goes really crazy here. And they get a free kill on Zoe. 